What is going on, mortals? Mortal T here. And today we are back on the island map. map, 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 map. In the last episode, we defeated the hard brood mother and got everything for it. We got a bunch of element. We unlocked some of the tech engrams. We're going to quickly have a look. We unlocked these ones. But I can't make any of them because it didn't give me a lot of element. And I did say at the end of the last episode that I might go and defeat the easy broodmother just to get enough element so I can actually craft the uh, tech replicator. And I think that's something that I definitely want to do because I want to make the tech replicator before I go and try and even defeat the Megapithecus on hard. So, yeah, I'll be doing that off camera. I do believe but anyway yeah <laughs> that is no go oh, right that is going to be it but da -da! I did say I'd do some of the building off camera and as you can see I have I basically finished I finished most of the work on it it looks pretty darn amazing to be perfectly honest I love it to bits if I could land <laughs> There we go. So we got our little like flyer pens here on top and here. But I realised that I sort of made a not a stupid mistake, but a mistake nevertheless. Because I did say when I get, I am going to get a forge, an industrial forge, and the tech replicator. They're, they're both really big uh, items in the game, and I did say I was going to put the the forge over here and the tech replicator over here so I can move a smithy and everything and have all that crafting stuff into one area but I just realized I'm pretty sure the forge is more than four walls high I think it's roughly about five so I'm gonna have to do some work on this bit to see if I can make it go up uh, by one so I can fit it in I could just put it in and the the ceilings probably wouldn't matter but I don't want the, the forge sticking out on top so yeah I might have to do that and I'm pretty sure the tech replicator is bigger than the, the forge I think it's like five maybe six walls high so I'm gonna have to extend this one as well so I'm not too sure if these two will be flyer pens I'll have to see where it goes out here I've just put my stego because this is going to be sort of a pen for most of my stuff that can fit through the doors. Uh, but today we are going to get on to getting the industrial forge going. So we might do a tiny bit of building. I've got all the stuff gathered up for the forge. Let's crafting. Here we go. So we can make the forge. But then we need something to put the metal in. Because the tech replicator takes an absolute ton of metal to actually make it. So that is why I'm doing it. But I need an Anki. Because an Anki can get more, probably more metal than I can get. And it can probably carry a hell of a lot more than I can carry. So I want to get an Anki. And bring it over here. Because up here there is a couple of metal nodes. I think there's at least two high density ones. There's one right there which is a high density are high density there's a couple of other ones that are not high density like this one there there and there or oh, and there oh, there is another one uh, uh, and this is another high density one so there is a bit of metal around here which should do me but the only thing we really need to do is to get an Anki so that means we've got to go looking for one but while we're looking for one with a so we plan ahead if we come across any Brontos, T-Rexes, Argents, we have to kill them and get the little trophies to give off. So we need T-Rex arms, we need RG talons, and we need the vertebrae from like the Brontos or the um, the yeah the other ones. I can't remember the names. The dip, the diplo. So yeah, so we can start gathering them up, so by the time we come and do the Megapithecus on hard, we'll have everything we need. I probably will need to make another run for the uh, 
artifacts, but that'll be easy to do if you've seen my episode. I did it all in one episode. I really like that episode. I love making it. I love editing it. And here we go. Two T-Rex arms right there. Boom. Let's go back on. So, anything else around here? Tapajara. Now, I've been thinking about getting a Tapajara. But I don't want a level 9. So... I think that uh, there's not really like a really good spot for Ankis, if I was a nerd, they're usually just dotted around like the mountains and stuff. So we're going to have a look. Because the spawn points are different on every map. You usually have a high density of one creature in a certain area. Then you go into like a different server and it's all changed. So yeah. Because on my... Dedicate server that I'm doing. This mountain here is usually really good for Ankis. I can see there's two there, but there is some scorpions around. Some stegos. So let's try and see. If we slow down. Oh, they're going to get attacked by sabers. An 85 isn't bad, actually. If that was the actual Anki. Let me just kill these two off. Land, I don't think there's anything bad around. The Dodic. Don't. Oh, I thought it might be angered at me there. Let's look at, have a look at these two Ankies. Oh, that's a level 80 Anki. It's a level 50 Scorpion. And what is the other Anki? So we've got a 35 and an 80. Not too bad. But the 81 is definitely hurt. So we'll have to leave that because my arrows might do a bit more damage to it and it might kill it. But 80 is definitely a maybe. Let's have a look up here because usually... No. You see? Different spawn points for different servers. There's usually a ton up here on a different server I, uh, I was playing on. But now there's none. Hmm. See? Very, very strange. So I'm going to continue to have a look around for a decent level Ankylosaurus. And once I have um, found one, hopefully I will find one, a decent one. If not, we'll have to come back to 80 and have it. If I can get a better one, I will bring you mortals back so we can tame it together. Ha 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 ha. So, yet again my favourite little thing to say, I will see you mortals in a hot second. And we are back. Now, I've been looking for a while, but I haven't seen a lot of Ankies. I've seen a lot of 60s, um, but nothing like better than the original 80 that we saw in the Redwood biomes. Now, I've been all around here. I've been over to the volcano. I've been over to a mountain over there. And I decided to come back to the Redwoods to try and find that level 80. But I couldn't find the level 80. But I did find this one here. Kaboom. It's a level 90 female. That's better than the level 80. But it's nowhere near 100. Which is what I wanted. But I think to start off with we can't set our heights, uh, sights too high. So this level 90 is going to have to do. The only problem is, the Redwoods can be a pretty dangerous place with raptors, and terror birds, and carnos, and just a load of bad stuff. Now, I have got some more... Oh, it's already down. That's awesome. So, I haven't got any kibble, because there would be no point, and it only eats berries, so I'm going to have to give her some berries. Now... There is a bush there. That's why can I only see one bush? This is super weird. Oh no, there's two bushes. So let's grab them and them. That gives us 25 medjos. Now I'm hoping that should be enough because my taming multipliers are pretty high, but I'm not too sure. Let's just have a look. Actually, it's not even hungry that lot. Uh, I'm going to look for more bushes. Haha. -ha. Just in case. And it's starting to get really dark. 
The sun is setting on another day in Ark. Awesome. So let's just put the berries on it. Kaboom. Oh, this is going to take a while. <laughs> Holy doodars. This is going to take a while and it's just turned night. Holy crap. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's going to have to be... I'm going to... Oh, you can't even see me. You can't even see me. Let's try and use the gamma. See if this works a bit better. It's a tiny bit, not a lot. But this is going to take a while more also. Yet again, I'll be back in a hot second when it's all tamed up. I'm going to have to gather some more berries and keep it from company while it's in the redwood biomes. Because it is rather dangerous. So, yet again, I will see you more in a hot second. And we are back. And as you can see, it's all tamed up. It took 10-15 minutes maybe, something stupid like that. A 134, pretty good, 4,000 health, 400% melee damage, weight is going to be a big thing, but I've been doing some searching around in the, whoa you're super fast, in the redwood biomes, because the thylocalium or something like that, I can't pronounce it right if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I am sorry. They do live in the redwood biomes and I've been trying to search for one because they are really, really cool. And I love them to bits, they're good. They're a universal diner because they can climb stuff and they've got a massive jump and they can run real fast and it's just an uh, all round good land diner and I trust me to get knocked off. That's it. Get some levels, please. Thank you. And my is still walking off. What the hell? Come on, Anki. Now, I, I didn't bring a, a saddle for my Anki, which is a bit unfortunate. What the hell is this guy doing? Can I ride you now, please? Thank you. Um. Yeah, over there. I'm going to get knocked off again. Let's try and get off before it knocks us off. And let's get our sword out. It's still circling. Are you still circling? Really? Where'd you go? Oh, what level? 15. Go away. That is the only problem about friggin' the Redwood Biomes. It's a very dangerous place. There's a lot of stuff that can knock you off here. But yeah, as I was saying, I was looking for a Thylacalio because I really, really like them. So I've been looking up trees because that's where they usually hang out. They try and usually jump out of trees and knock you off your mount and everything. Uh, but as I was looking, I did see an Alpha Car now. Fuck, I'm gonna attack that. Just stole something from me. Stone, I do believe. I'm stupid. What was it? What did you steal from me, homie? Nothing. Okay. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, as I was searching, I did see an Alpha Carno. Now, I don't know where it went. That would be a good uh, level up for my Anki if we can defeat it. It's only a level 10 Alpha Carno right here. But nevertheless, it's still going to be a good level up. So let me see. It's only a level 10, so it should be all right. So I want to try and, I'm going to, see it's got four levels already and I'm going to whack that straight into melee damage. And hopefully by killing this Alpha Carno, uh, it should get a decent amount of levels so I can just pump a bunch of weight or something on it. Come on Anki, I want you to take this Carno on. I want to get all the levels from it. Oh, what are you running from? The hell is that over there? Can you see that? Whoa, oh, it's one of them. It's blue. Hey, yeah, cool. Oh, here it is. Now, I can take... Oh, okay. <laughs> my alpha... No, not my alpha. My, um... Anklo just annihilated it in one hit. <laughs> it's amazing. Nothing on it. How many levels did we get? See, we got 25 levels after off that. That's really, really cool. Good. So, we need weight. We're going to need a bunch of weight to hold all the metal we can. Um, I wanna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want some health as well. Oh my god. Uh, I think that's going to be it. Let's just pump it into weight. That's got to heal up. 
but it should be alright. Now we got to try and figure out the quickest way we're going to get home. That is going to be the biggest the biggest uh, like thing to deal with. So I think the, probably the best way is to get him to a stretch of water. Because I'm hoping he has a decent amount of stuff. Speed. He seems pretty fast on land, so I'm hoping he's pretty fast in... Oh, there's another Alpha Carno. Holy crap, this is my lucky day. This is a level 70 though. Hmm. Go away, Terrorbird. Oh, man, he's on it. He just wants to kill everything. Uh, can we get... I, 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 uh, I'm stuck. Can we get you out of this ditch? Please? You're stuck behind a rock. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh. Back off. Drones. Oh, look, there's a load of bad stuff. There's just... My Anki just wants to kill everything. So if he wants to kill everything, I'm going to allow it. Ah, get rid of these crudons. Where did you just come from? Oh, you get are you getting attacked on me? That was a 125 crudon. Jesus. Some high level stuff here. Compete. Right. I want you to try and kill everything you possibly can, Anki. If something comes to attack you, kill it. It's some terabirds. They've just killed up. They should come for me. Which means if I can get it close to my Anki. What the hell? Why is it running away for? Is that just a crappy turn circle? Boom! <laughs> oh my god. Kill this one. We kill this one? Kaboom. 12,000 damage. You're done for. Not even happening for you anymore. There we go. This Anki is super fast. So let's try and kill this Alpha Karna with our newly tamed Anki to get it a bunch of of levels and still yet I have still yeah crap seen no thylacalio it's still not doing that too much don't where's my Anki come on Anki I'm gonna attack there kill it kill it annihilate it 12,000 damage look I can tank it for a bit because I got a decent amount of health but if you don't oh my god Anki's been a, an idiot come around this rock I'm here <laughs> I don't come on Anki kill it yeah there we go Right, is there anything inside it? Nope, so that means the Anki should have got anything that was here. Where the hell? Where is my Anki? Oh, it's right next to me. <laughs> oh yeah, I got some more stuff as well. That's awesome. And as you can see, I did go and get some more stuff. So I've got some more T-Rex arms, talons, and... Where did our vertebrae go? I did, get, I did have a bunch of vertebrae. Oh, I think I might have dropped them by accident, like an idiot I am. Did I drop them? I must have dropped them, so I need to get more vertebrae. But yeah, let's have a look what we got now. we got another 16 levels to pump, so it's going to do a bit more health. Weight is definitely always key. Let's try and get to... That's 10,000 weight. Melee damage is so we can defeat anything. Stamina, I'm going to pump. Movement speed is going to stay the same. Oxygen is only 2,000, so it should be pretty darn fast. I'm just going to save the bunch of levels just in case we need something else. Um, but that was just sheer look. That's two alphas. Let's kill this here. There's one vertebrae. I really wish I brought a saddle for this. Because otherwise it's going to be difficult trying to navigate through all these rocks and everything. See, it's, you see it running on the background there. But I am I'm going to get it back to base. And then I'll bring you more back again to see what we can do with it. So, see you in a hot second. And we're back at base. It was an ordeal getting this little girl back to base. Going through all the rocks and trees and stuff. But once we hit open water, it was pretty darn easy. She can move really fast in the water. But to get on with stuff, we're going to make the saddle. We're going to saddle her up. We're going to make the forge. I don't think we're going to get into any building today. Um, Where did it go? Saddle, saddle, saddle. Give me the saddle. Come here. Gadoosh. And oh, let's put it. Actually, can we just do this equipped? Ah, awesome. So yeah, here we go. Look, let me see. I uh, come on, get back in the water. Look, 
It's not a decent, it's not a bad speed for uh, water travel, to be perfectly honest. Let me try and get a decent. <laughs> it's not bad for water travel. It's not a decent, sp it's not a bad speed. That's pretty cool. But we got it for metal gathering. So, we're going to have to try and test out on metal. Uh, if we can get over to a mallow really quickly. Rah! And it can attack in water. Look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, we got an anchor right here. If I see a better one on this island, I'm going to flip. Because I know you can get them on this island, but they're not usually that higher levels. That's why I went elsewhere to get them. Uh yeah, let's see. There is a metal node. We gotta go around all oh, these painful ass rocks. Here we go. Metal Gadosh. Ooh, 1,900 odd metal from that. Look at that. Look at this. We got a ton of rocks as well. This is the only problem, getting stuck on trees and crap. Let's get to the other metal nodes really quickly. Where are they? Here they are. What the hell? I'm stuck on a crappy branch. <laughs> right, metal. Kadoosh. Oh, it respawned straight away. It's Kadoosh. There we go. I've noticed that we have a couple of things. For some reason, with an Anki now, it, it takes two hits. I don't know if that's just my sp uh, respawn rate, but I don't think it is. Look, the boom. I don't know what's going on. But we've got an absolute huge ton of metal. Let's get this one. And again. Let's hit it again. But the weight seems to be doing absolutely fine. We're not over encumbered yet. And I don't think we will be, just to making this one round. But boom. We've got an absolute huge ton of metal. I don't think there's any more metal rocks around oh yeah there is right there I'll tell a lie don't I let's whack these get as much metal as possible on our first run I'm gonna have to drop all the stone now because I'm getting over encumbered now boom and boom so it gets stone as well but it usually gets flint if you just hit it a normal rock it usually just gets a bunch of flint but let's drop down Let's do the handy little trick where you get off just before you hit the floor, so your dino takes no damage. And, uh, what's going on? Oh, there we go. It wouldn't move for some reason. <laughs> Let's put it in our base. And then we're going to go in. No, in in into its inventory, sorry. <laughs> Let's sort by name. I think, did that sort by name? Yeah, I think so. And this is how much metal we got. So, what? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going to say roughly about 14,000 raw metal we just got. That is absolutely amazing. So, if we go in here now and we build this, Kabuya. We can see how big it is going to be when we place it down. Let's put it in a spare slotterino right there. So yeah, I can't even place it down because it's too thingy. So yeah. Uh, can I really quickly... I don't know why I said Tereba bird then. I meant Pteranodon. Let's see what we can do here. Let's break some of these. Can I please get the option? Awesome. Break as quickly as these. Come on. Oh, that was close. I'm just going to break all the like inner bits. I'm going to leave the outer bits here. I'll show you in a second. It'll let me. Uh, demolish. 
Oh, I don't think that was a good one to demolish. No, I don't think it was. But oh well, oh well, oh well. Now we should be able to see. Now we can fit it in, which is really, really nice. It fits in like the gap, kind of. But trying to get this leveled up is going to be a pain in the bum. And now it's gone up there, so we need to crouch. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. Let me just bring this forward a bit. Go into orbital cam. Uh, you see, I need to face this way as well. So we get it like a really good angle. Let's plonk it there. See how far we can go up. See, you can't see behind it. And that's not quite where I want it either. Let's try that one, maybe. Yeah, this is really hard to see what I'm doing. I don't think that's quite right either. Let's. No, I want to try and get it roughly in line so if I do that I do that let's turn it a tiny bit more I think I went too far <laughs> right there is lined up with like the line at the bottom now trying to get it lined up here then around the back as well can we get around this Orbital cam is so frustrating because you cannot see properly. You should be able to go through stuff. Can we? Let's see how far we can push it back. So there is how far we can push it back. I think that's going to be about right. Place. And we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. That's not a bad placement, to be perfectly honest. Not, it's not a bad placement. I really like it. And now we can just fill in the ceilings afterwards. But that is going to be it for this episode. So we got a, a, a metal harvester. Really, really, really nice. And with the new update, metal uh, weighs a hell of a lot less in this female. As you can see, it weighs 50 and it usually probably weighs like 200 or something stupid. I'm not too sure. But yeah, we're filling those seasons. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah. And I've got a ton of gasoline already smelted up. So uh, yeah. I think it, No, I don't know. Cooked up. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> Uh, let's zoom in a bit <laughs> and get everything we can in here so that is going to be it mortals it's been a semi long episode I'm sorry about that it took a while to do a lot of things but if you like the video don't forget to show that like button who is boss by punching it in the face and if you're new to the channel don't forget to click that subscribe button and as always mortals don't forget to share it with your family and your friends and around the world. But that is it. I am Mortal T and I am out.